Richard said there's been a bit of uh, a lot of regulation changes the last weeks over here over the whole of the world actually and uh, yesterday I had a call from my regular drummer in Hamburg he said man I can't come on the plane as of today they have to isolate and all that bollocks so uh, I went fuck do a gig <laughs> nah not do a gig I'll call my friend Chris Charlie is he free luckily Chris was free <laughs> Chris has done a few gigs with us earlier this year, and uh, so we said, well, tonight is the Chrissy Matthews Blues Band, and so we're just going to uh, 
play a bunch of blues tonight. We've got a couple of my songs which we still remember from around earlier in this year. But um, the main thing is we're here to have a good time and we hope you have a good time tonight. And we're gonna, yeah, let's have a fucking good time! Yeah. On the bass guitar all the way from Oxford, Josh Regal! the drummer and said about him, but on the drums, Chris Charlie. Oh, yeah. And backing singing tonight later on, Richard Dunning. Yeah. That's another thing. So apparently the regular, is it Simon? Yeah. Simon broke his arm last night. Oh, and uh, is that right? His wrist, I think. Oh, he broke his yeah, wrist. Yeah. I'm not going to ask what he was doing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right arm or left arm? <laughs> no, I don't want to know. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Simon's at home nursing a uh, problem with, what's, what's it called when you do too much of something? <laughs> Repetitive strain injury in his wrist. Um, so Richard is kindly doing the sound as well tonight. So I know you know Richard, but he's keeping music live in Coulston. And I think he deserves a huge round of applause. Okay, that's enough.
Especially in Germany, I always say this is for the German rail because 
the, the German rail is so shite. It's always cancelled, it's always delayed, but I don't travel much of English rail, so I wouldn't know. National say. Rail? Okay, this is for National <laughs> Rail then. <laughs> uh oh! Screen everywhere, terrible scene. 
Earthquakes swallowing towns, tall towers falling down. There were people getting shot, sticking up for their rights, getting beaten by the cops for not being white. But some of us are hanging on, most of us are fine. We still got to see, and quite a big piece of the sky. You gotta be grateful for what you got, even if it ain't a whole lot. As long as there's a ghost of a dream in a pot, you gotta be. in the news I was reading how the enemy won they scrapped all the love to it in the band it sure was a scene there were workers getting sacked cause the bread was not enough for feeding all the kids it was really looking rough for those of us on stage are playing pretty well cause we cry Every day, and we can play like hell. You gotta be.
Thank you so very much, ladies and gentlemen.
exciting. But... <laughs> um, yeah. What else did I work on? Doctors. I've been doing doctors for 10 years. You probably recognize me. I'm always that guy that you see his elbow or his shoulder in the doctor's <laughs> waiting room at 1 o'clock in the afternoon on BBC One with about 20 people watching. But uh, I'm a very famous actor. They can't afford me to say lines. All they can book me for is to sit in the background. Um, Land Girl. Land Girls, that was many years ago. What did I do this year? I did Holby City, and the day after I worked in it for the first time, BBC announced they were axing it. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I don't know if that was because of my shit acting, but um, yeah. uh, what else? Like, oh, I spent two weeks on, uh, in Newcastle as a Nazi soldier uh, on Indiana Jones. That's good. That'll be out next year. And uh, my supporting actor, Harrison Ford, was very good. Silla? No, that was years ago. I you were doing your own thing though, playing guitar. On Silla, yeah. At least you were playing guitar. On Silla, yeah, I was in Ringo Starr's band on that. Um, no, I'm thinking, what did I work on in the pandemic? There was a lot of stuff. Oh, man. Lewis, Lewis from Oxford. Uh, whatever, who cares, who cares? I'm a famous actor, that's the point. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're going to finish with a nice bit of funky blues by the great Howling Wolf, I think it was. Uh, if you'd like to buy any records in the break, you're more than welcome. Um, at the end, you're also more than welcome. Um, if you don't want to buy one, you're also more than welcome. Uh, unfortunately, I've sold out of the pepperoni pizzas tonight. But, um, next time. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the first, first set. Once again, on the bass guitar, Josh Regal and Chris Charlie. We're going to play this last number, take a very short 10 minute break, uh, and then come back to the stage. Well, Chris is going to go back to the stage. I'm going to come back to the floor with you guys. <laughs> and uh, when I arrived, he was here first. I said, yeah, fucking I'm the main star. I should be on the stage. You go over there. But no, he wasn't having any of it. So, uh, you yeah. know. Ready, lads? Yep.
My dad was 70 yesterday, he's right here, but... I know his father, by the way. I don't, I don't know if we should play 70, that, that won't be here all fucking night. Are you ready? Yeah! If you want to get on the tables and dance, that's very fine, but please do so in the key of B flat. <laughs>
see her Please let her off that bus Maybe
foxy lady. Thank you.
Charlie, what a great band tonight. My name has been Chrissy Matthews, and uh, thank you so much for having us tonight. Thank you to Richard. Thank you so much for being here. And I have so much gratitude that you're here. So much gratitude for these guys, for Chris coming out at last minute, and we've had a really great time playing for you tonight. And I hope you've had a lovely time. If you'd like to come and say hello to us after the show, I will be there. My beautiful girlfriend will be selling our records. So uh, please come and say hello. But thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure. I hope to be back here at the Tuesday Night Music Club on another Tuesday sometime.
Chrissy Martins. Thank you for an unforgettable night. Thank you. the bus I'll drive you it's fine <laughs> only if it's on the way to Oxford <laughs> um, yeah no thank you this was my first time here at the uh, at the club and it's been an absolutely beautiful beautiful experience there's not that many gigs in England where I actually enjoy playing because most of them I think are absolute dog shit but this is uh, <laughs> yeah and they don't know how to they, they, yeah whatever that's another rant of mine but uh so I very rarely play over here for that reason, but this is one of the great places in the UK which it feels like it could be anywhere else but England. So, uh, <laughs> honestly, I'm, I'm very thankful to Richard for, for, for the effort he puts in, for he gets so many great bands there every week. And uh, please do come and keep supporting his live music nights. And, uh, and I really do hope to be back here next year or in the next five years or whenever we can come back. And. Uh, yeah, thank you. It's it's been it's been fantastic. Thanks. Now let's attempt my song what I did with Mick and Keith. I haven't played this song for a long time, but I uh, used to play this quite regularly and I thought we were giving it a bash tonight.
Say hello. Thank you very much. Just here. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy Coronation Street. 